Hey everyone, Paul here again with uh, another progress video on my XR3 car build. And uh, it's near complete. At least it's done far enough for uh, me to shoot a quick video and show you how it's turning out. Uh, done quite a bit since the last video that I posted to YouTube and you can kind of see the results here. Turned out very nice. Um, added all of the uh, the trim parts, uh, the bling, you know, the blue uh, floorboard balances there and the striped uh, items. Uh, added the windshield since you last saw it and all of the uh, window glass. It's going to take a short walk around the car, give you an idea of what it looks like from all the angles. Trying to hold the camera as steady as I can. This is the uh, XR3 design that was uh, provided in the plans from Robert Riley. Uh, I've made some changes to the car design. Um, the original car design actually had a canopy that flipped up from the cockpit area. I changed that to um, scissor doors, also known as Lambo doors or Lamborghini doors. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll open up the doors. The doors don't have handles on them. Um, they're all electric solenoid actuated. And all I got to do is push a button on the keychain here and the doors will open. And so let's go ahead and open those. And also the hood uh, flips up, uh, the entire front clip actually flips up to gain access to the, um, the entire engine compartment. And uh, since you last saw it, I've added these uh, gas charge struts that um, hold the hood up and also give it a nice easy to open action to it and eases it to a full open position like that and you can see that that gives you full access to the engine compartment and uh, also since you last saw it I've added these uh, splash guards uh, in the fender wells um, just to keep uh, water and mud from getting on the engine and uh, also added the windshield wiper and uh, windshield washer arrangement The windshield wiper is tucked underneath uh, the front cowling there. I'll just take a walk around the car again so you can see what's going on here. So this is what the car looks like from the front with uh, all of the doors and openings opened up. So these uh, scissor doors, there's no uh, aftermarket kit for those for this car. All that had to be custom designed. Um, I came up with a um, mechanism that allows the car the car doors to slide out uh, about three inches and then they can be lifted up manually uh, from there rotated up to about 60 degrees uh, with uh, just your uh, your arm uh, giving it a little push up uh, to assist the uh, the gas charge struts that actually hold the um, hold the door up 
So let's take a look inside here from the passenger side. Um, most of this you've seen before in some of my other videos. Um, it's just all been finished up and finished out as far as the trim is concerned. All of those dashboard parts had to be made from scratch, so they're all custom made. The seats are also custom made. Uh, could not find any actual car seats that would fit this car, so these seats had to be uh, made up from scratch. Back here we have an access through this uh, rear hatch to get to some mechanical pieces on the back of the car. Uh, you can see the rear airbag suspension there and the uh, bracket that holds up the rear fender. And uh, the uh, muffler is down there. It's just really a, just a, an access port uh, to get to the rear of the car. On the other side, um, we do have uh, an actual trunk on this hatch and um, within the trunk is an access to the fuel filler which I relocated to this side of the car because I wanted to avoid the filler being close to the hot muffler and um, so I did that and added this door uh, just to address that as a potential safety concern to eliminate that concern. And then here on the driver's side is uh, what the interior looks like from the driver's point of view. We have a speedometer and a tachometer actually on the steering column here. Um, fuel gauge and water gauge in the uh, upper left corner there and uh, some idiot lights uh, up against the windshield there that give uh, turn signal blinkers and um, high beam indicator and things like that. And this is the gear shift uh, on the center console along with uh, windshield wiper and light switches and ignition. A few other gauges and indicator lights down here including uh, engine hours gauge. Uh, hour meter. So what I'd like to do is take it for a ride. Um, however, um, I can't take it out on the road yet. It's not yet titled or licensed. And um, I don't really want to take it out there anyway because the roads here are all dirt roads. And um, I don't want to get it all dirty and muddy. Um, so the thing to do uh, to, is to uh, what I can do is drive it around the property here and just give you an idea of it driving uh, here at, at low speed on the property. And um, then uh, what I'll do is I'll post another video uh, showing uh, how it drives down the road. So we'll go ahead and do that. in just a moment here. So we're going to go for a quick ride now uh, just on, along the property here. Okay, go ahead and grab that.
sorry that was so short, but uh, I'll put out another video on uh, YouTube uh, when we get the car licensed and on the road, and we'll take it out on the road, take some videos of it uh, going down the road, and we'll post it to YouTube, and thanks for watching.